How to Make a Germany by Zambia Ball Productions. Step one, get a third of the, uh, the, that empire, basically Charlemagne's empire. By the way, please go subscribe. So, I mean, we're legitimately talking about how to make a Germany in the, in the kitchen. Wait, I missed step two. Add half the Roman Empire. Step three, mix for a few centuries. Okay, that's definitely. Step four, add some holy water. Get some sort of horrible destruction, but you need to get to this process first. It's kind of like trying to eat a dish before you completed the full recipe. Like, the Holy Roman Empire would just be like consuming nothing but flour and raw eggs. And apparently that was the perfect example because we have to put it in the microwave for 800 years. Uh, step six, add Napoleon French, uh, flakes. Fr French flakes. They did take some of the French flakes away and added them to them. Yeah. Now you got Prussia. <laughs> what the hell? Add even more French flakes. Definitely France is saying, uh oh, now you got a German empire. Step eight, to make it more flavorful, add Austria, Hungary, salt, Italian seasoning, and Ottoman pepper. Especially during a very heated world atmosphere, uh, basically World War One. you kind of mix it with the Treaty of Versailles for a year. Oh no, now you got the Weimar Republic. Okay, we're not there yet. I, I, I wasn't sure what part we were at making our German country ball. Step 10, teach an Austrian how to paint. Oh, I see, because the German is not going to teach, or whoever is not going to teach this Austrian how to paint well. Is that what we're, is that what we're getting at here? The Austrian is mad. He failed. The Austrian infected the dish. Now it's a third right. Okay, um, step 11. Yeah, 10 years. Okay, uh, right, let's just go. All right, and uh, injects the allies. Yes, that's that's nice. This will cause it to split. This is the most complicated recipe I've ever seen. Mix both West and East Germany for 100 for 50 years, not 150 years. Well, I mean, I don't know what kind of Germany we would get if we mixed it for 150 years. A very broken Germany. Add the EU and NATO toppings. And step 15, enjoy. I don't really know what we created, but it is certainly a German country ball. Now, what happens if you stop the recipe before the completion? Your kitchen just, like, blows up. Bro, explain the whole history of Germany in 1 minute and 12 seconds with a freaking recipe better than my history teacher in 45 minutes. Maybe we all just should be chefs or something. How about how to take care of Germany after it, uh, is created? Whoa, okay, there's a lot of, I, I just had an aneurysm. How to take care of Germanies? Uh, if a Bavarian ward, uh, pops up, put some, some Czech juice on it. It's that easy. I was just in Munich last week. I started to see this. Czech juice only works on Bavaria, so if you get another state wart, you have to visit a surgeon. Uh, but the odds are very unlikely for a different state wart. Uh, it is mostly the Bavarian wart that seems to pop up the most. Feed him a sausage. That's an important aspect of taking care of Get some Legos so your uh, Germani plays and has fun. Uh, wait, uh, that's the Berlin Wall. Let's not do that again. The education of the Germani. Give him a German history, but oh, don't, maybe, maybe don't. Do that. Just tear out the, the, those three pages. I don't know if it's three pages or three chapters. Uh, give your Germany some friends. We have Austria, of course, Switzerland, places that speak Germany. Note, do not get Germany close to Poland. Of course not, or else. I mean, but they're friends now, right? I mean, do these steps. I'm not sure how you would really take care of your Germany without letting him get close to his food. These are some interesting metaphors because we went from like like a cooking recipe to like now Germany is our pet. Maybe it's both. You started off making it in the kitchen, but it turns into a pet. How to wash your Netherlands. Wait, wait. <laughs> By Tandu Bowl Edits, please go subscribe. Step one, go to the canals in Amsterdam. Uh, yes. Well, first of all, there's a lot of bicycles. Uh, drop your Netherlands in the water. Leave it there. Get trapped in a bicycle water cave, possibly. Wait, now you have a wet Netherlands. Okay, what, what do we, do? Uh, is this a joke? Is this like a, a double entendre sort of thing? Step three, wait for the hot air balloon, 10 to 15 minutes. What? One balloon ride later. Is there a, is there a reference that I'm not getting? Get a long ladder. We're gonna place. Oh, is this a windmill? I I know about Dutch windmills. Those are. Uh, put your Netherlands in front of the windmill. Okay, that's. Now your Netherlands is clean. Wow. I guess I guess it's actually a lot simpler. Is that why there's so many windmills in the Netherlands? That's the only way to properly clean and dry. As a Dutch person, I can confirm, we bathe like this. Here's a more general guide on how to take care of a country ball, just any country ball. By Pink Bow Animations, please go subscribe. This is the complete guide, too, so I'm excited to see exactly. Step one, build a house. Like a Minecraft house? 
Also, is it supposed to depend on what type? Okay, we have Christmas lights, possibly two. Okay, a country ball would, it does seem like it would live in a box to uh, provide care. How? That depends on, I'm guessing, the food that, okay, I see. Yes, give it a little bit of uh, bandages. Poland needs a lot of those. I'm guessing some countries need more than others. Some countries probably cause a lot of damages as well. We were just talking about Germany earlier. Uh, okay, step three, feed. This is giving me like, um, what are those, what were those things back in the day? This is, I don't know, I'm getting like Pokemon vibes or something like that. Feed it. This is also gonna highly depend on what type of country ball you really have. So you don't want to give it, um... Yeah, I don't know, some food that maybe it's not used to having. For example, in Iceland, they eat rotting shark flesh. It's actually not a good idea to give someone else that type of uh, food. More, yeah, interesting. Uh, step four, play. Of course, that's one of the most important things. How do you play exactly with a Poland ball? Um, you play very peacefully. Don't, don't go to war with it. Don't split it up too much. Why was this video so adorable? I've always felt there was a weird similarity between like Pokemon and Country Balls. I'm, I'm really starting to see it now though. Why isn't there like a virtual reality game where I can have like a little Poland ball follow me around through it? Uh, forced. Here's how to make a Poland. Uh, take a random Slavic tribe and convert them. Wait, what? Convert them to a Christian through the king's baptism. Have them bounce around a little bit. Have them combined with step two. Have them conflict with Germans. Unite with... Okay. I'm glad that we included the Lithuania part. Part's very crucial. Invade and occupy Poland. Oh, uh, you have to invade and occupy the, the Polish a little bit with a lot of different countries. And that's how you make Poland. Wow, that was really simple. That's the simplest recipe I think I could ever come across. Didn't know it was that easy. That video was by Jess Fred. Please go subscribe small channel deserves more subscribers country balls as me wait what D drew Durnell part one question mark I'm already loving this please do subscribe to now now as well oh uh, yes okay <laughs> just to destroy our culture and completely assimilate us I know I'm sorry says <laughs> Germany will you ever forgive me meanwhile Serbia Croatia Romania and Slovakia you oh, I to love the drawings and, completely assimilate us. and I enjoyed every second <laughs> I love the like twitching animation that they have I always like when animation has that oh how I wish I could have you a friend says the Reich tank. <laughs> I am hoping that soon will searchings will end. Frank Reich didn't want to be their friend. Italian didn't want to be their friend. Ooh. Neither did Rusland, and now they're just stuck with one left. Oh, but when but I they look show cute. up, beans, guten tag. <laughs> they always oh. of running away. That is probably due to your <laughs> past there, Reich tank. That is but, literally um, me. That's uh, fine. Maybe literally someday. Okay, that's <laughs> weird that I'm like. <laughs> I was talking about having a country ball as a pet. I don't know if I would want Reich Tangle as a pet though. It'd be a little terrifying. They look like literal paper. It's the eyes. They're gonna. I think. It's the eyes they're gonna get blown so away. Creepy. Fantastic. Really great work. I am inside your walls. By Ikari Ball, we have Byzantium trying to stop a incoming Turkey or Ottoman Empire basically from eliminating them. I think I know where this is going. And just like the Kool Aid Man, here they come busting on in. Uh, so we're gonna. They're gonna use cannons to bring down. This is the fall of Byzantium, basically, is what we're witnessing. Ooh, Venice! Forgot how horrifying Venice can. Oh, well, they were. I thought they were gonna be horrified. You know, Venice did that to a lot of people and it was successful. I'm really surprised it didn't work that time. Busting through and getting to Austria. Uh. Austria. Wait, are we gonna see winged hussars? I'm now just realizing. Uh, okay. They're. Uh. I, did they finally get stopped? Oh, they're sick. Oh, it's the sick man of Europe reference, and here are the here's the winged horse. I love the animation so much. Why is the horse so terrifying? This is basically like the quick rise and fall of the Ottoman Empire in literally 43 seconds. Well, not necessarily the fall, but uh, one of the falls when the winged czars arrived. I just knew that like once I saw an Austria reference, I mean. What else can you? It was Ottomans and the Austrians. I'm actually in Vienna right now. I'm I'm looking to see my own winged hussars somewhere. I guess they can't really come back, can they? Get those by Ikari Ball. Please go subscribe. Good video to include here by PWA. Countries scaled by the most peaceful. Now, if you decide to make your own country ball, sometimes it's uh sometimes it's important to make them peaceful. It's not a requirement. You don't need to make your own peaceful country ball. Here are some of the most peaceful. Obviously, Afghanistan and uh, North Korea is. Uh, yeah, um, not so much. I wonder how does one, it's really hard to scale this. Is that the, is that the right term? Who scales this exactly? Uh, everyone has a gun, says the U.S., so they can use it to stop anyone from not being peaceful. Then how are you only 18 places ahead of North Korea? I'm not surprised, USA. Uh, USA just tried to say that they are one of the most peaceful, but they're not going to top this list. Jedi out of your own says, keepers out of the peace, your lack of faith is disturbing. 
Guys, this is no joke. Okay, now is it going to be Switzerland at number one as the most peaceful country? The thing about Switzerland is they weren't technically, if you're looking at a historical standpoint, they only started being peaceful like 180 years ago or so. A lot of mercenaries that people really liked to use, but does that count as the entire nation of Switzerland? I don't know. I bet you it's gonna be a really small place, like very tiny, because uh, that would make the most sense. Obviously, city-states don't really declare wars. They don't want to do that. I blame those two, says the U.S. to Afghanistan and North Korea. Uh, it's well known that I'm not a very peaceful country, says Afghanistan. I rank 163rd last place out of 2022, the Global Peace Index. Okay, that's what we're using. It's uh, also well known that I'm not very peaceful, says North Korea. You don't sound too bothered about that. I mean, that's kind of their shtick. Uh, I rank 149th globally. That's really interesting that they're not further down. I mean, they're pretty far down. Bruv, your ends with them too. Don't get twisted. It's nothing like them. America stands for so much more, says the US. Yeah, all right. What ranking do you stand for then? So we're basically 130, yeah, 131 if we're only 18 places above North Korea. Now for the proper peaceful segment, I placed in the top 25% thanks to my relatively low crime rate, good foreign relations, and minimal conflict. Okay, so there's a lot of different things that get combined in this peaceful index. So it's got to be, it's going to be a rich, small nation. Uh, Canada is definitely up there. Of course, Switzerland as well. Leading countries in global peace. Oh, that's right. I can see Iceland. So Iceland's there. For many reasons. Uh, social acceptance, functioning government, crime exists, but it is very low in Canada. I it's too cold to do anything wrong. I mean, who wants to freeze like that? Uh, hello, says Iceland. How are you first? Because of the ice, everyone here is chill. Oh, I guess. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Again, it kind of goes with my theory, though. I mean, the colder place is, it's going to be a little bit easier. Got to be a cap, brother. You don't have an army, says Iceland. Nope, just a lightly armed Coast Guard. Bro, that's level one defenses. I rank number one in the Global Peace Index. How is a place like Liechtenstein behind Iceland? Is per capita sort of like taken into reference how many people you have? That would actually explain a lot. Iceland's been actually the number one most peaceful country since 2008 they've been winning this competition. It goes Denmark, Ireland, and New Zealand. Also Austria. Again, that video is by PWA. Please go subscribe. And big thanks to my patrons this Drew, month. I'm your dad. Back with the milk. Look outside. Carino is best girl. The clones training is complete and is Frederick, I can't sleep Lad without Australia. Yeah. Is real. Inquisitor, I am not serious. The great Ralph John, John's Denver, annoying friends. Zebby, if you hate this, I love you. Good old Mexican, 7, 6, 5, 6, 10. Norwal, Rye, the pie. Caramel, Luxembourg lover. And why am I doing this?